how beneficial, obviously we've, we've seen uh, Byron and X um, back in practice the past two days. How beneficial would it be to get them back, especially for um, you know a, a skilled group of receivers with Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley on the other side? Oh, I mean, it would be great because X Byron, I mean, they're one of some of the best in the league at what they do. So to have that presence and veter veteran presence back out there would be great. Definitely this week, like you said, they got some explosive receivers. So just to handle them, that would be good. The way that they move Kyle Pitts around, I mean, do you think there's any chance that you might? I know that they, I know that they put, um, who did they put on Darren Waller? I'm forgetting who they put, you guys put on Darren Waller. They put Byron. Yeah, yeah, but do you think there's any chance that you might even have to match up on them the way they move around? As far as me? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, if it comes up, they're on the ball, and I happen to be in there, and we call a man call, and Pitts is right there, then I might be on them. But there's no matchup plans for me to be on them. But like I said, we'll see if it happens in the game. Tight end lockdown <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've guarded tight ends before. Yeah, definitely. So I believe I can guard tight ends and lock them down. So I'm in that position. I'm going to do my best and do that. How do you think you guys held up without X and Byron last game? You, Justin, Noah? Um, no, I think we did pretty well. Guys stepped up and competed. Um, we just got to go out there and do it again this week. For sure, with everybody, whoever's out there, we don't know who's going to be out there, but whoever's out there, we got to do out there and uh, handle that business for sure. Nick, how would you describe the mood of the players this week? Um, I mean, it's tough being on a five-game losing streak, but we're not about to sit here and just sit here and mope and cry around. I think we've been on each other's ass a little more and just trying to up the tempo, the urgency a little more because we have to do whatever we need to do to, to get a W this weekend. So um, I think you can see that in practice today. People were more on, on each other's ass and trying to make sure everybody gets everything right. Nick, you've been very transparent about some of your struggles that rookie season when you kind of had the ups and downs. How would you compare that personal individual adversity to when your team is kind of struggling right now on the five-game losing streak? Um, damn. Uh, I guess you can say you could take the same mindset as a team, um, see what you did wrong, and then work even harder. Even when things are even tough, you don't want to just, all right, I'm going to just give up. Like, you got to – do extra work, extra extra film, whatever you need to do. Get out to practice a little earlier because all the little things add up and can help make one big play that you want to make on the weekend. So if we all do that little stuff and get out there a little earlier, stay a little later after practice, we all take that mindset. I feel like that could benefit the team as well.